At what point does it become non-creative because you're just doing something main? Well, he liked it, and she's like, what did I do? I guess. Oh, that's lovely. What did I just watch? Not funny at all. Oh, Jesus. Oh, slobbering. The hell was that all about? So you guys. So you guys, if you oh, want he's to kinda make out, you just need to do it with me, then I shout you <laughs> out already. Okay, you guys? So do that if you want to shout out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he could say to her, a little louder, please. That if you want to shout out. Okay, get the microphone out of your mouth. It will be clearer. So obviously we know they're not in the same room together. It's just confusing to me how it can be from two different cameras or two different whatever, but yet they're both interreacting. Okay, so this kid made a duet with me, and he pulled a gun like he's going to shoot me. Oh, jeez. Not cool. I'm turning it into the police. <laughs> Have a good day. Spot of Satan. I don't know, man. I'm just out in left field with this. Spot of Satan. <laughs> okay. A feisty lady. What she is saying is clear. I'm not sure what's going on on the other side. Before we show you any more, do you have any idea what's going on here? I really don't. So all these videos came from TikTok, an app in the United States that was formerly known as Musical.ly. Have you heard of Musical.ly? No. Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Better hound dog. That's all I know. Musically, I think we did a musically here. Work, yeah, work, yeah. work. So the premise of these memes is that someone will create an original video using the app, and a different user, often unbeknownst to the original uploader, will create a response video using the left side of the screen to respond that will play at the same time. Oh, I like that. I think that's neat. I don't know why everyone says that people on musically have no talent. Are you kidding me? We have to lip sync to songs. <laughs> Slow and fast. Sometimes we have to blink our eyes fast and make them big. So, what do you call that? <laughs> <laughs> That's not very nice. So, what do you call that? <laughs> okay, what do I call it? Crazy. The first person is asking for whatever response people might offer, and I think that's very clever just holding up the written ones. What? I didn't say anything. Why are you looking at me like that? Because you're beautiful. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. I enjoy That's his butt. I enjoy looking at beautiful people. Oh. He's saying kiss my ass, buddy. Well, the other one said kiss my ass. <laughs> That's a little funny. Because the, the one on the right have no idea what they are really, you know, facing. I'm a UFO. I came to this strange world hoping I could learn a bit about how to kill them Just charming. Okay, so I see, I see that what was amusing has now become quite distasteful. That was funny. <laughs> Very creative that one. Ooh, bloody lips. Ugh. But creative. Oh, you with her now? Okay. I guess I'll just have to show you what you're missing. Ah. Oh, now that's not very nice. <laughs> I'm glad I left somebody. <laughs> I guess they're saying they, they're glad they left her. Anything on here is on here forever. And people can look up things. And I've heard, I've heard people tell stories about not getting a job because of something that they posted. Uh oh. Back to them, I lead the pack, so my back's to them. Yup, the queen's back, what's happening? Rerun, about to make these bitches rap again. So this one is showing off her hair, because that one doesn't have the hair. Uh-oh. Back to them, I lead the pack, oh, so my back's to them. Yup, the queen's back, what's happening? Rerun, about to make these bitches rap again. Oh, that's, that's too mean. The other one uh, was like sort of saying, Nah, nah, nah. Well, 
you know, I I think the the people on the right want to be noticed. They 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 want people to see them. There are always people around who are going to criticize everything you do. <laughs> so that's what seems to be the pairing. I mean, when you think about doing it, it, it's definitely a creative outlet. Okay. So at what point does it become non-creative because you're just doing something main? So those videos all came from using the duet feature in the TikTok app, which allows users to post custom videos that play on the left side of the screen next to another video simultaneously with the intention of being able to collaborate with each other. That feature offers never-ending possibilities, it seems to me. You could do it with a friend and do something really fun and clever. But for some, they use it in the way that you just saw, which is now part of a trend called ironic TikTok, where people will add to or even mock an original video with their creation. Uh, so overall, what do you think of this trend? Well, to me, it wasn't funny. It takes more than a face and an idea on a camera to create or to answer to anything. Maybe kids like this kind of stuff, but I'm not a teenager reacting. I'm an elder reacting. I just think it's kind of stupid. I like the concept of it. But I think that when it goes, when it goes into mean-spiritedness and cruelty, that I, I just think we have enough of that in the world without adding to it. It's a way to get get attention. Imagine you put up a video, and then you get to wait and see who responds to your video. I think you get some kind of self-satisfaction from that. I kind of like it. There's always something that could go negative real quick, but they can be creative. And young kids have creative minds. It's really interesting and maybe creative, some creative people could hook up this way. I mean, you just don't know what will happen. It's it's sort of the wild west of, of filmmaking. So more and more people seem to be finding videos, often of younger people, but also sometimes not. Uh, that are using content to call out things that are awkward or cringeworthy or how bad they are, like some we're doing here. Uh, we're even making a reaction video right now to what's been happening, and some people find this alarming and not right, uh, while other people will say it's like, okay, because the original people posted the videos and put themselves out there. Yeah, if it's posted, you can react to it. This type of reaction content happens not just on TikTok, but also on YouTube, Twitter, and other sites with video. So what do you think about people who make reaction and response videos that are making fun of people directly? So far, I don't have a problem with it because it is creativity, it's self-expression, and it's people relating to each other. It's supposed to be for fun. I think that we are drifting away from that. Any um, good invention or technology, there will be people abusing it in the wrong way. It's a new platform for bullying. It has happened to me <laughs> when I put up a video. So uh, it made me realize you have to have tough skin. If the only way you can respond is in a negative way, what, what does that say about your heart? Reacting is an opinion, so you can't tell me not to feel something because it's how I feel. But if I hurt someone, I, I certainly hope it's unintentional. And once I realize it, I certainly hope that I can be a big enough person to apologize for it. Bullying today can take so many forms. Not, I mean, I was bullied as a kid, but you know, Today, you can bully so many different ways. Parents should warn the kids if they're gonna post stuff on the internet that, you know, bad things can happen. So finally, if you were to give a piece of advice to the users on TikTok who wanted to make a duet, how would you suggest they go about doing that? Don't. Why? What's the purpose? I think that the most important thing is that uh, it should be fun for everybody. I would say you can do it, but do it with some a friend. Do it with somebody you know. As long as you're not hurting anyone else, as long as you're not naming anyone or shaming someone, you know, I mean, give it a go if that's, if that's your thing. I would put more substance in there. I would ask a more universal question, something that's on the tips of a lot of people on a given day. You don't be too negative. You don't actually hurt anyone, but be creative I and mean, have fun doing it. Yeah, I like TikTok, actually, because I'm, I'm a creator myself, and maybe I can go there too, but I wouldn't want to hurt anyone. Thanks for watching this episode of Elders React. Shout out to Luke Dodd, 
and I am a nugget. If you want to see more, subscribe and hit the bell. Goodbye. Hey guys, Ethan here from FPE, and if you want to check out our elders as well as the rest of our cast eating crazy foods, playing games, and so much more, you got to check out the React channel. Click on the link right over there. Bye guys.